without bothering to learn, they have just simply parroted a, a common way of speaking about the Quran and saying, you know, it's 100% the way it's always been, with no variation or change whatsoever. Our claim, the Muslim claim, has been for the last 14 centuries that the Quran is absolutely word by word preserved. Word by word. The sense of complacency that many Muslims have gone around with thinking that, okay, you know, uh, everything has been preserved dot for dot, letter for letter. And frankly, you know, the Quran has been preserved, we believe, word for word, letter for letter. Which actually is not a scholarly uh, way of thinking about the Quran. Uh, our scholars have always known and have always described in our classical books variations. Have no doubt whatsoever that the Quran has been preserved to the letter. Many Muslims have gone around with thinking that, okay, you know, uh, everything has been preserved dot for dot, letter for letter. To the dot and to the sound when we talk about this. They have just simply parroted a, a common way of speaking about the Quran and saying, you know, it's 100% the way it's always been, with no variation or change whatsoever, which actually is not a scholarly uh, way of thinking about the Quran. Uh, our scholars have always known and have always described in our classical books variations. Their Quran is exactly the same. Variations. The Quran shall remain uncorrupted, untouched, and unchallenged until the day of judgment. In academia, there was always a suspicion, you know what, uh, we would really like to find uh, a pre-Uthmanic Quran. We would like mm. to see what was there before Uthman suppressed it all and mm. gave us the one copy which everybody has been running around with now. The Quran that we read is exactly the one that was given to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Word for word, letter by letter, surah by surah. Without bothering to learn, they have just simply parroted a, a common way of speaking about the Quran and saying, you know, it's 100% the way it's always been, with no variation or change whatsoever. It was revealed to the Prophet Sallallahu and preserved word by word, letter by letter, harf by harf, even the pronunciation is preserved. Now, in Abu Bakr's time, it was recognized that the Prophet, peace be upon him, died without leaving uh, the Quran in a collected volume. In, in 1972, a mosque was being repaired in Sana'a in Yemen, and it was found that in the ceiling of the mosque, uh, there were many old documents stashed. And among the documents, uh, some were Quranic copies, and there was one of particular interest that came to be widely referred to now as the Sana'a palimpsest. It's an erased manuscript. A manu so, so somebody uh, had a manuscript, they, they wrote on it, then erased it and wrote something else over it. The lower text uh, shows uh, some significant variations. There are variations of words, um, and, and sometimes the sequence of a verse, uh, you know, is, is interchanged there. And the sequence of surahs, chapters, uh, instead of going with the sequence that we have now in our documents, uh, commonly known as the Quran. Academics want to know the history and origins of things. They want to trace uh, developments over time, they want to see changes and evolution and so on. So that became of keen interest to them. But uh, largely Muslims have uh, not had much reason uh, from a religious point of view to be bothered by this. So I guess the question still stands, right? Like, how is it possible that there was this manuscript there, right? Palimpsest, as you mentioned, when Uthman is purported to have sent out all of these manuscripts that were the official ones to different parts of the world. Other companions of the Prophet, peace be upon him, could have been compiling their own copies as well, or they could have written from their own memories. And, and that could be at variance with the Uthmanic uh, Codex. If scholars were wondering, and they, they have wondered, um, like, what else is there? Like, uh, did something else get suppressed that we would like to know about? Mm -hmm. Well, well, here, this comes, uh, uh, you know, uh, as a double-edged sword. On the one hand, the sense of complacency that many Muslims have gone around with thinking that, okay, you know, uh, everything has been preserved dot for dot, letter for letter, which actually is not a scholarly uh, way of thinking about the Quran. Uh, our scholars have always known and have always described in our classical books variations and manuscripts like, you know, it's read like this by Ubayim bin Kaab, it's read like this by Ibn Masud and so on. And in the Codex of Ibn Masud, it was seen to be written like this. In the Codex of Ibn uh, Ubayim bin Kaab, it was seen to, written like, to be written like this with this or that variation. So these were always known in scholarly circles to have existed. But recently, uh, average Muslims have uh, just simply, in a, in, without bothering to learn, they have 
just simply parroted a, a common way of speaking about the Quran and saying, you know, it's 100% the way it's always been. And, and they cannot imagine any variations. So uh, can we feel confident then that the Quran that we have now is preserved accurately from God? Yes, we, we could say, you know, 